Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the video. In this video I'll be teaching you about full schema evolution with Apache Hodea hands-on guide. In this video I'll be showing you how to evolve schema dynamically meaning let's say uh, you know the schemas are changing. I'm gonna also show you how to add a column, how to remove a column, how to rename a column or uh, basically fire all the DDL statements uh, on your hoodie tables in Spark. So without wasting any further time let's get started. For this uh, project or the learning labs, we are going to use AWS Glue 4.0. You can uh, spin up AWS Glue locally with the Docker container. I will be doing that in this step. So I'm just going to say Docker compose up hyphen hyphen bit. So this should start my Jupyter Notebook with Spark and AWS Glue running locally on this particular address 127.0.0.1 colon 888 slash labs. I also do have a full uh, guide on how to run AWS Glue locally on Docker containers. I'll leave the links in the description in case if you want to watch step by step uh, video. Right, it's show time. So let's uh, head over to the code editor now. So the first thing that I'll do over here is I will configure all these Spark um, settings. So I'm going to execute this cell. Again, I'm running Glue locally on a Docker container. Again, you can watch my videos uh, to do um, that. So again, this cell is now executing. After that, I will be executing this particular cell, which says Spark SQL set hoodie dot schema dot on read uh, dot enable to true. You can uh, execute that, and I will basically uh, import JSON and random. After that, I have some helper class which uh, will make things easy for you to learn. I have a method which will upsert a data into a transactional data lake. Uh, so I have a method called upsert hoodie table. After that, I have a function which generates fake data. So for example, if I call this method, it will give me column one, column two. The next time I call, it might give me column one, column two, column three, column four. So it's gonna give me different columns. So I can teach you the, the schema evolution. So executing this cell. And then I have a method called print hoodie table. All it does is basically reads the hoodie path from the S3, creates a snapshot, and then uh, prints the schema on the console, okay? Now, here comes the first batch. So here I'm going to execute this particular cell. So here I have a data frame with column one, column two, column three, and ID. So I have three columns and an ID column, okay? I'm going to be using this particular bucket. Uh, if I go here, I do not have any data over here, okay? Now, I will perform an upsort on the hoodie transactional data lake. My table name would be changing JSON schema. Database name is hoodie DB. Uh, record ID is ID, precom keys ID, again pretty standard and I'm going to execute this particular cell. Now this might take about a second or two so I will pause the video here. So let me see if this is executing. Uh, because again the reason I'm executing things locally on a Docker container so the speed might vary. Okay. As you can see the cell execution is complete and here you can see the schema on the hoodie transactional data lake. I have ID, column 1, column 2, and column 3. If I go to S3, refresh, silver zone, my hoodie table, and some metadata over here, and parquet files. If I go to glue catalog, here you can see uh, the glue table over here. Hopefully, it should load in a second or two. But anyway, so now what I'm going to show you is I will call the function again. This will generate column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, column 5. So basically column four and column five is newly added data. So what you want to see is how Hoodie is evolving the schema, right? So now again, I'm going to do the same exercise. I'm going to perform upsert on a Hoodie transactional data lake, and then I'm going to be printing the schema. So you will see that this schema over here will evolve, um, you know, uh, so now executing the cell and I'm going to pause the video and resume once this is complete. The cell execution has completed and let's take a look at the schema. So what do you see here, right? So you see the column four and column five was added. So the schema is now evolving, right? With Hoodie, you have the flexibility to uh, perform a full schema evolution, right? Um, now let's take a look at running DDL statements, right? So for example, let's say you want to drop a column. Let's say you want to rename a column. You can definitely do that with Apache Hoodie. Um, so here, uh, you know, I'm, I'm using an order command. So here you can see I'm going to be dropping a column five. Okay. So in our schema, we have a column five and after that, I'm going to print the schema again. So I'm using a command alter table, the database name, the table name, and then drop column, the name of the column. And I'm going to execute this cell. Again, this might take about a couple of uh, seconds since I'm running locally. 
So I'm gonna wait for this to complete and uh, then I'm again gonna resume the video. My cell execution is complete and as you can see now column 5 is no longer there in the particular schema. And this also gets reflected on the glue catalogs if I uh, go to the tables. If I come here, hopefully if it loads, <laughs> it looks like it's a little bit slow here. Maybe I should refresh my window. All right, so it's loaded. And as you can see, I, I no longer see column five. And here you can see the newer version of the table, right? So uh, schema evolution is working fantastic, uh, you know, just the way that I expected. Uh, you can also rename a column. You can say alter table, database name, the table name, and rename column. So I'm gonna rename column one to my call. So here you can see in the previous schema, we have column one, right? So now I'll be renaming the column. So I'll execute this. And this should basically uh, rename the column. While this cell is being executed, I wanna point your attention to this particular documentation. Uh, this has all the examples given here, right? Uh, you can also evolve, um, you know, uh, schema in a very easy way. Everything is explained here uh, in a very nice way. Uh, coming back to this, this might take about a few seconds. So I'm gonna again pause the video. Oh, it's done. All right, so now what you see that column one was uh, renamed to my call. So what you have just seen is, hey, you can rename column, you can add columns, you can delete columns, you can evolve the schema the way you like, right? So if you come here, now this is version five, right? If I refresh, I would see a version six probably. I just need to refresh my browser window. As you can see, version six over here. And then if I scroll down and here you can see my column, right? So what you have learned in this video is hey, uh, how to evolve a schema in Apache Hoodie. Uh, Apache Hoodie, you can evolve schema, right? You can add columns, delete columns, uh, you can rename columns, etc. So I hope this video is useful and I hope, um, you know, uh, these labs are going to help you to understand the concepts of Apache Hoodie in a much better way. Thank you so much and I'm going to see you in the upcoming next video. The lab exercises are given in the description section below.